cancer, the infamous disease characterized by mutations in cell DNA that causes the rapid growth of abnormal cells. How can we fight it? Let's talk about targeted therapy, a form of cancer treatment which uses drugs to target cancer cells. These target cells are located by identifying various traits, like looking for cancer cells with the presence of a particular protein that isn't typically found on normal cells. Unlike traditional chemotherapy, these drugs both block those signals for cancer cell growth and prevent further proliferation. But why do cancer cells grow so rapidly? This is caused by oncogenes. Proto-oncogenes become oncogenes when a cell's properties undergo changes that result in the production of abnormally functioning proteins. For instance, the RAS protein, a key regulator protein which controls growth by sending signals from receptors outside of the cell membrane and into the inner cell. Consequently, the RAS protein remains in an off state until activated in order to prevent uncontrolled cell growth. However, the RAS oncogene produces a mutated form of the protein called the G12C variant, formed at position 12 by the mutation of glycine to cysteine. This mutated protein instead remains in a constant on state, thereby giving a continuous go-ahead signal for cancer cells to multiply uncontrollably. So if we know that G12C variant of the RAS protein plays a key role in cancer spread, then how can we stop it? This is where targeted therapy comes back into play, through a drug known as the CRAS G12C inhibitor. This inhibitor forms a covalent bond with cysteine 12 and binds to the P2 pocket region of the protein, locking it into an inactive GDP bound state. In other words, the mutated RAS protein is forced back into an off state, which deactivates further cancer cell growth. This drug is primarily used to treat lung cancer patients who are known to carry G12C mutations. While many provide no response to this inhibitor due to acquired resistance, this form of targeted therapy continues to evolve through further research and test trials to widen an audience of patients. In doing so, we can see how cancer cell growth is ultimately disrupted through targeting the G12C protein, thereby acting as a beacon of light which brings us one step closer to beating cancer.